You've seen the reports about guns found in Columbus schools. Three local high schools reported guns found with three separate students. Fights and assaults all on Columbus City Schools campuses. What do I do? Get out of here. Since the start of the school the year this fall, three guns have been recovered from Columbus City Schools. That got crime tracker 10 is Lacey Chris wondering just how many violent incidents have occurred at schools and how safe do teachers feel? Lacey took those questions right to the union. Wedgwood Middle School. This is where Melissa Tate works and where she became a crime victim. I was furious because I felt like, what did I work for? For someone to come in and take my car and take my earnings? Her car was stolen from the school's parking lot as she taught. I owned a 2017 Hyundai Tucson. My car was stolen within 10 seconds. Regina Fuentes loves being a teacher. 23 years. All at CCS? All at CCS. But what she doesn't love is her concern for her own safety and the safety of the students. How safe and comfortable do you feel walking back into the classroom this fall? Um, I have my concerns. I definitely have my concerns and I think my colleagues have their concerns as well because, you know, volatile situations can happen in an instant and we don't always have safety measures in place. At least it doesn't feel that way. Between January 2019 and June 6, 2022, there were a total of 127 reports of fights at 36 high schools and middle schools. 111 reports of assaults and 56 reports of guns on campus. It's important to note part of the time students weren't in buildings because of COVID. Yes. Um, so last year we actually had a teacher while, you know, while we were teaching at school, get their car stolen. They, they were a victim of one of the, I guess you call them the Kia boys. Taking a closer look at just this year, between January 1st and June 6th, Columbus police responded to 28 calls for fights, 27 reports of assaults, and eight reports of guns on campus. Whatever's going on in the neighborhood is going, you know, it's going to find its way into the schools. Which is why Fuentes pays close attention to juvenile crime in the city. Many of these, these kids are actually, you know, residents of Columbus. So that means that they're most likely associated with our schools. And this is why we're putting out such a strong call to get more social and emotional um, care in the buildings. Of the Columbus City Schools, South High School had 111 calls for service by Columbus Police last school year. Lyndon McKinley had 91 and Walnut Ridge had 66. CCS says it has its own safety personnel. There are 123 unarmed safety and security staff. CCS says rotates between the schools as needed. In the summer of 2020, after the protest, Columbus City Schools did not renew a contract with Columbus Police to have school resource officers in the buildings. Fuentes tells me she doesn't know if the SROs made a difference, but says students need programming. That students need to get help before it gets to the point of needing an officer. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Now, earlier today, we asked to talk to Superintendent Dr. Talisa Dixon for an interview on this story. She referred us to the school board. We asked to speak with the board chair and she declined.